How's it going guys? Today I am going over autism. Now in this video I'm not really going to cover exactly what autism is. I am going to tell you what to look out for. Um, in a different video I'll get deeper into what autism is. For this one I am only going to go cover your approach to an autistic patient. Okay. So for your approach you want to remember this uh, acronym ABCS which stands for Awareness basic common safety. Just a few things to know about autistic patients just for right now uh, and this will kind of help you uh, remember why you're using this is that uh, some autistic patients they can't really read body language very well. Um, eye contact for some of them is not gonna happen. They just, it's, it's pretty awkward. They also don't pick up on, on sarcasm, humor, or emotional feelings. Uh, but some do, some don't, but just know that depending on which one you're dealing with, which level of autism you're dealing with, will depend on what you're going to get from your patient. But just going into it, know that, and that's why we approach these patients way differently. So as part of your, your awareness, just be aware that you are going to take much longer with these patients. These patients, they like for, uh, things that are familiar. So if it's familiar, they love it. So if you get to the patient's room and you're about to take them somewhere and they have a blanket that they're really hanging on to, uh, some kind of stuffed animal or anything, even a marker or a pen, and they're playing with it, do not take it away from them. They, um, they might, I'm not saying they will, but they might actually freak out and you're going to make your call a lot worse. So if they want to take anything with them, even a person, um, as long as that person wants to go with them, because it's familiar, it's going to make your job a lot easier. So make sure something familiar is with them, okay? That is really important. Um, so besides that, also be aware of what you say. So um, I would stay away from jokes because they might not understand that you're actually saying a joke. They'll take it literally. Um, so you want to watch out for that. Be careful what you say. Make sure you take your time. And if they want to take something with them, let them take it within reason, obviously. Now, kind of just going hand in hand with jokes, keep everything basic, okay? Uh, because they might take it literal. And you don't want that. Sometimes it's going to be bad. Now, as far as how you say something, for example, instead of saying... Uh, if you wanted to sit down, most of us, I know I would say, you know, take a seat, right? Sit down. Well, if you say this to an autistic patient, they might think that you literally want them to take a seat somewhere and they'll take the seat or they'll look at you funny. Instead, just be straightforward and say, sit down here. Hopefully I have enough room. So this is how you want to phrase it. This is a no-go. So just keep things basic. Um, and that's pretty much as the best way that I could put this without adding too much to it and giving you too much information. Just keep things basic. Watch what you say. As far as awareness, don't say jokes. They might take it literal. Calm. The best way uh, I heard this explained and the best way that I can explain this to you without, without going into it too long and just kind of getting straight to the point and just remember this calm creates calm if your patient is freaking out I don't care if they're autistic or not you need to keep your core now all right you're seen as a professional just imagine if a cop got to a scene it's a horrible scene the cop starts freaking out what are you going to start doing? You're going to start to really freak out, right? Because that's a cop. They're supposed to keep their cool and be cool under pressure. If they're losing it, you know something is really wrong. So really make sure you keep your cool, relax. Eventually, if you keep your cool, and trust me, it will happen. If, if your patient is freaking out, regardless of whether they're, they are autistic or not, if they're freaking out, but you're really cool, calm, and collective the entire time, eventually they will come down, all right, for the most part. The second one, I mean, the, the last one is safety. So really, it's patient safety and your own safety. So know that just how they like 
familiar objects, people, and things. They also don't like surprises, so do not surprise them. So, give a heads up. What I mean by this, by giving a heads up, is before you do anything, let them know in a very basic way what you are going to be doing. So if you're going to take their blood pressure, don't say, hey, I'm going to take your blood pressure. They may have no idea what that means. Just let them know, hey, can I put this on your arm? Or can I take, if you want to take a pulse, hey, can I, can I see your wrist? Is it okay if I touch your wrist? And then get their pulse. So keep it very basic. Make sure you give them a, a, a heads up of whatever you're going to do before you do it. If you catch them by surprise, you might really freak them out and you might turn a situation uh, into a bad situation. Um, sorry, I'm not on my game today, guys. I'm a little off. But <laughs> hopefully um, I was okay enough to kind of explain what this is. I always try to not overload you guys with too much information. I keep it straight to the point. Uh, just remember the A, B, C, S. Um, and if you have any questions, like always, just leave a comment below. Let me know what's up. Uh, sometime down the road, I will make a, a video on autism, different levels, what to expect, stuff like that. But for the most part, this is what you need to know as far as how to approach a patient that has autism. Till next time, see you guys later. Bye.